Hey guys, Collector Monica here, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Happy Pokemon Day, guys! I hope you've been enjoying the special holiday so far, but most of all, thank you guys so much for joining me today. This is such an exciting moment for me, not only because it is Pokemon Day, but because it is my first time officially celebrating it, not only here on YouTube with you all, but also just, you know, in general. And since today is a very special day here in the Pokemon community, I thought I would jump out of my comfort zone just a little bit and do something completely different for today special holiday. So as you can probably tell by the title, we will not be doing a Pokemon card unboxing, although stay tuned for my next video where I will be doing a special celebration for reaching 50 subscribers on this channel. So ooh, a bit of a spoiler or teaser for you guys watching this video. Yes, today, as you can tell, you can't see my hands. No nail checks today. It's the same nails that I wore in my last video video so don't you worry about it you're not missing much today it'll just be my voice and the screen in front of you and I hope you'll join me and celebrate Pokemon Day by doing some fun Pokemon quizzes so I'm actually on the pokemon.com website right now and I literally used the search function here on the left and typed in quizzes <laughs> or quiz so there is a bunch of quizzes here but i think i'm gonna do it or get sorted by most recent um okay so journeys i i'm not even gonna touch this only because i never watched the anime i know it's it's shameful i should watch it because Ash is gonna leave us soon. Let's see, keep it real with a spooky Pokemon quiz. Uh, dare I touch this? Celebrate the season of scares by testing your knowledge of creepy Pokemon trainers and locations. See, if there's one thing about me, I am not good with my Pokemon trainer names, and I am not good with locations, like names of cities, like towns, and all that. Like, oh, I don't know if I should. Celebrate Bidoof Day with the Bidoof quiz. Dare I click this? When is Bidoof Day? Uh, is it July 1st? I guess we should do this quiz? <laughs> sure, why not? If you are familiar with this channel, you would know that we typically get what is called Bidoofed. And what that means is that I just pull a lot of Bidoof cards, like pretty often. So when that happens, we say, we just got Bidoofed. So let's just check this quiz out. Let's see how it goes. Apparently this is easy. It says it was supposed to be 15 questions, but being clever is really exhausting, so we made it a modest 13 questions. Which normal type Pokemon is number 13 in the Sinnoh region Pokédex? This is just going to be all Bidoof um, answers, isn't it? <laughs> so Bidoof! Yay! <laughs> Okay, number two, which Pokemon evolves into the barrel? <laughs> okay, I, I think you understand what's happening here, so. Which Pokemon has a name that rhymes with Schmidoof? <laughs> yeah, so I'm not gonna do this whole quiz, but, you know, have a little laugh with me. <laughs> I think we get what's happening here, so let me just go back. Let's try and look for another quiz. Actually, okay, maybe it would be easier <laughs> if I filter this by most relevant. Um, okay, let us scroll through. Should I do this? Take this quiz to test your Galar region Pokédex knowledge. I mean, I played Sword and Shield. And this is, I guess, our final hurrah at the Sword and Shield era on the TCG, so... Why not? <laughs> okay, take this quiz to test your Galar region Pokédex knowledge. Now, if this asks me, like, Oh, what is number 15 in the Pokédex? I'm gonna fail. <laughs> Here we go. Question 1. 
when it gets wet, its skin changes color, and this Pokemon becomes invisible as if it were camouflage. Galar Pokemon? Um, okay, wait, hold on. It says, here's a hand we only refer to unevolved Pokemon, or Pokemon that have no known evolutions in this quiz. Becomes invisible? What? Okay. I'ma just... Let's skip. <laughs> well, not skip, let's just see the answer. <laughs> really? See, I was gonna guess Sobble, but... I did not know that fact about him. Did you guys? Anyway, question two. It eats snow that piles up on the ground. The more snow it eats, the bigger and more impressive the spikes on its back grow. I know who this is. This is Snom. Yay, we got a point. I don't even know how many questions there are on here, but we shall see. Question three. It stores poison in an internal poison sac and secretes that poison through its skin. If you touch this Pokemon, a tingling sensation follows. It stores poison. So this is a poison type Pokemon? Which Galar Pokemon has like a poison sac? I'm picturing some frog type Pokemon. Wait, let me see. Let me cheat a bit. Who's on here? <laughs> No one? Okay. Who is this? It's not any of the starters. No. Let's let's just see who this is. Ooh, he talks so. I literally saw him up here. It wraps prey up with its heated body, cooking them in its coils. Once they're well done, it will voraciously nibble them down to the last morsel. I'm gonna say one of those snake Pokemon. Silly cold. Sizzlipede. What the heck? <laughs> Question 5. The powerful muscles in its tail generate its electricity. Compared to its lower body, its upper half is entirely too small. Huh. So this electric type Pokemon, first of all. Is, is there a Galar Pokemon that I'm not thinking of? I am failing at this. Let's just see. Dracozolt? Yikes. <laughs> he did not even pop up in my head, like, at all. Question 6. Through its nose, it sucks in the emanations produced by people and Pokemon when they feel annoyed. It thrives off of this negative energy. Okay, I'm gonna say this is like, it's like a dark ghost type Pokemon. Oh my god. Do you guys read the Pokédex and like actually retain all that information about each Pokémon? I read it when I catch them, but then... Like, how am I supposed to remember over a hundred, you know, Pokémon per game? <laughs> Is that just me? Okay, I don't know. Impy Dimp! Wait, through its nose. Oh my god. <laughs> Question 7! This gluttonous Pokemon only assists people with their work because it wants treats. As it runs, it crackles with electricity. Hello? I'm seriously blanking. <sighs> oh my god, guys. This is not a fun Pokemon day. I'm like, just stressing myself. I think I need a water break. Give me a second. <sighs> okay, so which Pokemon is known for like, eating a lot? I'm just gonna say Tuga tomorrow. It's wrong, but... How could I forget about Yamper? Oh my god, I'm so ashamed. I almost don't want to keep going, but I have to. How many questions are there? Oh my god. Oh no, you know what? <laughs> I'm not even gonna finish it, guys. It hurts. Yeah, let's, let's skip it. Let's get out of here. So that happened. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see if we can do something. Let's see. Ooh, take the Gala region Pokemon eyes quiz. Okay, see this? I feel like this is more doable. If I see like a visual feature, I think I'll pass this. What do you guys think? Let's do it. <laughs> okay, you've never taken a vision test like this. Can you recognize these Pokemon by only their eyes? Let me open like a notes notepad. Can you guys see this? So I have my notes here on the right, and I'm just gonna name this Gala Region Pokemon. Oh god, Pokemon Eyes. So let's tally up our score here on the right, and then we will see if we'll pass the test. Question 1. That... Oh, 
That's the, oh my god, Score Bunny Evolution. What is your name? Oh my god, I'm blanking. I usually don't remember middle evolution names. Oh, Reboots? Is that his name? Reboots? Okay, we got one point. The red boots. Question two. Hmm. My first thought is Turtwig, because it's green. And I feel like his eyes are. They look like that, like kind of olive y. Let's write Turtwig, and we'll see if we are right. Turtwig. Three, two, one. That is not Turtoy, it is Appleton, so incorrect. Guys, <laughs> I'm dying because literally this quiz is take the Galar region Pokemon test, like I test, and I really said Turtwig. Turtwig is not a Galar star. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Yeah, I got that wrong, like the moment I, I said Turtwig. <laughs> Number three. eyes like that. Galar. Galar Pokemon. Red eyes? Is this some like dragon or something? Like a fire type Pokemon? I'm not even sure. Let's just see. See the answer. <laughs> Roly Coly. Damn. So three. Pass. Like, did you guys get that? How am I supposed to know how, he, how his eyes look like? I don't, I've never like zoomed in on his face before. <laughs> Number four. Oh, this is Dreepy. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna cry because I'm pretty confident about this and it's gonna be pretty embarrassing if it's wrong. So let's see. Three, two, one. Yay! It's Dreepy, so you have two points. Moving on to the next Pokemon. This is Qfint. Let me type that in. Qfint. Let's see if we are right. Yay! I love Qfint. I think he's so sweet. Not the biggest fan of the evolution. Um, oh my god, what's his name? Kaparaja, I believe. But Qfint is so adorable. Like, mm, so sweet. Okay, next. This is... We saw him in the last quiz. Sizzlipede? Okay, I'm gonna butcher the spelling. Sizzlipede. Yes? It's an I. It's an I, okay. Sizzly P. That's the right guy. I just. I spelled it wrong, okay? It's the right. <laughs> Sizzly P. Question seven. This is Arctovish. Arctovish. So, Arctovish. Let us see if we got it right. Yay! Okay, I remember when I first saw this Pokemon, I did not understand what was going on with the design. I was like, he has like a Giga Shad chin, like, what is happening? Do you guys like this Pokemon? I pulled his card so many times in Evolving Skies, like as a full art, I pulled it twice. And that could have been an evolution. Anyway, enough with the rant. <laughs> Question 8. This is... I was gonna say Yamper, but I think it's Bolton. What do you guys think? I think it's Bolton. I feel like Yamper has different eyes. So I'm gonna lock in my answer and say Bolton. Three, two, one. Yes! Okay, I thought I recognized um, his eyes. Did you guys catch that? Hmm? Who is this? Oh, is this Sinistee? I don't know why. He popped up in my head. Is this Sinistee? I feel like this is like a trick when it's super zoomed in. I'm, I'm just gonna type it. Sinistee. Let's see. Three, two, one. Ooh, it's Milkery or Milsery. Incorrect. We have three wrong. It's okay. Moving on. Number 10. Oh my god. He's a bug type, first of all. Yes. <laughs> oh, um. Bug type? Is this Dotler or am I tripping? Am I tripping, guys? Dotler. I see the yellow and I see the blue, and Dotler is like yellow with blue spots. Mmm, that's okay. Here we go. Did I, did I misspell that? I know I did. Yeah, Dotler. Okay, okay, Monica. We're definitely passing. 
question 11. This is Cramorant. I'm like 100% sure. Also, I'm not 100% sure about the spelling, but... <laughs> yep, Cramorant. Those are those beady green eyes that I'm so familiar with. <laughs> question 12. This is... Toxel? Yeah, it's not Toxtricity. I feel like Toxel has like sleepier eyes. See the answer? Yep, it's Toxel. Okay, 13. It looks like Roly Coley. Does it not? Who has eyes like that? Mm, is this like a dragon type or something? I don't even know. I can't even think of a single Pokemon with that eye. I'm gonna pass. Number 13 is... Oh, Perserker? Ah, uh, yeah, I can see the cat eye. Okay, next. This one is Sinistee. Is it not? 14, that's Sinistee. Sin- oh my god, Sinistee. I'm just confirming it. Sinistee. Stone Journer. Guys, we are flopping right now. Alright, next. Who is this now? Who just has squishmallow eyes? A dot? like huge squid eyes or something oh god i'm just gonna pass i'll write pass 15 pass three two one A snom okay <laughs> let's see how we did so let's tally up our points so one uh two three four five six seven eight nine nine so we got 7 out of 10 points, you're Butterfree! Each of Butterfree's eyes is composed of many smaller eyes. It looks as if you have a good focus, but try to concentrate a bit more. Thanks Pokemon! <laughs> okay guys, so I'm actually on a different website right now. I'm on The Guardian. I literally googled um, Pokemon quiz and this one looked pretty legit, so let's Let's try it out. So this one is called Gotta Quiz Em All, The Guardian's Pokemon Quiz. Um, I guess this is more um, like overall trivia Pokemon based. So let's see if we'll do fine. <laughs> Question 1. The Pokemon anime series has focused on the adventures of Ash since it made its debut in 1997. But what is Ash's surname? It is most definitely Ketchup. Just kidding. Ketchup. Reveal. Yay! Oh, this is nice. It gives like it gives like further explanation on the answers. Ash Ketchum in English is a deliberate pun on the series Gotta Catch Em All tagline. In Japan, his name is those characters meaning Satoshi. Question 2. Lovable inept rogues Team Rocket have been trying to catch Ash's Pikachu for decades. What are their names? <laughs> Imagine if it was Jesse and Jim Bob, like that is too that is too much. It is Jesse and James' final answer. To protect the world from devastation, to unite all peoples within our nation. Two for two. Question three. Can you identify Squirtle? This one? This one? This one? Or this one? What? Is this a trick question? I'm gonna go with the third one. Does that matter? This one? What? I, I don't- What? Okay. Is this a joke that I'm missing out on? Oh my god. Okay. That's a trick question. And this is like a reference to the anime that I just don't know about? Uh, okay. Moving on, question 4. The new series of the Pokemon anime, Pokemon Journeys, introduces a new companion to Ash. What is his name? This I know. I know I did mention earlier that I never watched Journeys, but I do know that his name is Go. Yep, so another boy with boundless curiosity about Pokemon, Go is aiming to catch one of every Pokemon, including the mythical Mew. Question 5. The first legendary Pokemon introduced in the Kanto region are Articuno, Zapdos, and... Well, considering that we have three of the birds here, the answer is most definitely Moltres. So Moltres, the firebird Pokemon, makes up the third. If you look carefully at their names, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, you can see they are numbered in Spanish. Question 6. 
In the anime episode, A Shivering Shovel Search, Ash gets trapped inside a giant haunted sand castle Pokemon. What was it called? Thanks to the Pokemon TCG, this Pokemon right here is Palo Sand. Reveal. Yep, no, we have no idea why there's a haunted sand castle Pokemon either. Question 7. Which Pokemon is cheerfully described like this in the Pokedex? It pines for the mother it will never see again. Seeing a likeness of its mother in the full moon, it cries. The stains on the skull the Pokemon wears are made of the tears it sheds. This is Cubone. <laughs> Cubone is just so sad and it's so tragic. Like, why they have to make it such a sad story? Yes, it's Cubone. It's not Bennett. That one is a doll that became a Pokemon over its grudge from being junked seeking out the child that disowned it. Question 8. Totally pathetic, unreliable, known throughout the world for being super weak. The famous opening lyrics to the Magikarp song, but how many candy do you need to evolve a Magikarp into Gyarados in Pokemon Go? Oh my god, I didn't think we were going to get into Pokemon Go questions. I haven't played Pokemon Go since like 2019, 2020. I was still going to school in person. <laughs> and then at the library, there was like so many Pokestops um, at my school. And so I was like chilling, just like sitting and spinning the stops. But I, I don't know, eventually I just got tired of it. Yeah, that was the last time I opened the app. So let's see if we get this right. Initial thought is 100, but I feel like that's too that's too obvious. So I kind of want to go 400 for this. But is that too much? Mm, should I go with my gut? I'm going with 400. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Is it 400? Ooh, yes! Okay. Waiting to reach that level takes way too long. Question 9. What is this Pokemon called? Oh my god, it's Alakazam. What? Alakazam! Okay. Alakazam is the fully evolved form of Abra and evolves from Kadabra. Abra, Kadabra, Alakazam. Get it? Question 10. In the episode, One Journey Ends, Another Begins, Litten's Pokemon friend passed away. What was its name? Oh my god, they really did that in the anime? I don't think it handled that. I don't like it when Pokemon just pass away like that. Lillipup, Herdier, Stoutland, or Entei? This is Stoutland. Nurse Joy is unable to heal the aging Pokemon in one of the few instances of a Pokemon dying in the series. Try and watch it alongside a young child that loves Pokemon and not cry. It is sadder than the episode when Butterfree chooses to leave Ash. That is so sad. Okay, moving on, moving on. Question 11. Who was the voice of Detective Pikachu in the eponymous movie? It was... Ryan Reynolds. So Reynolds took time out from playing Deadpool to do a stint as a wisecracking, coffee drinking, lovable yellow ball of fur. Question 12. The recent series of YouTube shorts, Pokemon Twilight Wings, was set in which region? Oh no, I don't really watch the YouTube shorts on the Pokemon channel, so this is gonna be a total shot in the dark. Let's go with my gut, Yanova. Okay, no, we, sh we shouldn't have gone with our gut. <laughs> okay, Galar. Yes, it featured characters from the Pokemon Sword and Shield games. Galar is loosely based on the British Isles, hence the appearance of Pokemon themed around the Queen's Corgis, the Ravens at the Tower of London, and the Strawberries and Cream of Wimbledon. Question 13. In the iOS game, Magikarp Jump, if you are unlucky, which flying type Pokemon can carry away your carefully nurtured prize, Magikarp? I've never heard of this game. <laughs> Have you guys heard of this game? I've never heard of this game. Um, let's go with the Wingle, cause seagulls, seagulls, fish. Oh no, it's not. Oh no, it's not. It is Pidgeotto. So Pidgeotto is a nuisance here. Fourteen. Can you spot Drowsy? Is this this or this? I don't understand these questions. I'm gonna pick the fourth one because that's what we did for the Squirtle. Yes. What? 
Yes, Drowsy is said to feed on the dreams of its opponents. 15. Alistair is a gym leader in Pokemon Shield, but what type of Pokemon does he specialize in? Alistair is a ghost Pokemon gym leader. Yes, apparently he wears a mask because he's really shy and not because he really likes Bo, Bo House and the Sisters of Mercy. Although he does like to hang around ruins and cemeteries like any decent goth teenager. 16. The Alola region, which was the setting for Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, is loosely based on which US state? You know the answer to this, it is based on Hawaii. Let's click it and reveal. The Alola region is made up of four natural islands and one artificial island and is based on Hawaii. 17. The starter Pokemon for each of the main games in the series are always a choice between which three types? Easy peasy, it is grass, fire, and water. Whether it is Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle in Gen 1, or Grookey, Scorbunny, and Sobble in Gen Eight, it is always a choice between these three types. 18. The Pokemon games debuted on the Switch with Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Let's Go Eevee. That is the answer. 19. Which one of these is Venonat? This, this, or this? Like, is there a picture here that I just can't see? Let's go with the third one. It, yes, it is a dual type bug poison Pokemon that evolves into Venoma uh, Venomoth. Is there a picture here that I'm missing? Hold on, guys. 20. This man is cosplaying as which Pokemon? He is cosplaying a Galarian Weezing, which I honestly really love the design. Galarian Weezing look looks like a top hatted. What? Galarian Weezing looks like a top hatted Victorian factory, and we're introduced. Oh my, I can't. I can't. Chris Moore needs a man in the suit. Let's see our final result. 15 out of 20. We still passed. <laughs> However well you did, we hope you enjoyed it. You gotta catch them all. I really enjoyed this quiz. Okay guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely check out the quizzes, try them out for yourself. If you did them along with me, let me know how you did. I'll link all of the quizzes in the description box, so feel free to share them with your friends or try them out again for yourself. Anyway, have an amazing Pokemon Day. Let me know how you're planning to celebrate or how you did celebrate Pokemon Day. I'm super interested and curious to know what you did to celebrate. Please leave a like or leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe if you want to and also don't forget to check me out on Instagram at Collector Monica. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!